Hey there, this is Anna, and welcome back to For Real. Ever stumbled upon the frustrating iPhone lock to owner message, also known as the iCloud activation lock, and felt like you've hit a dead end? I get it, we've all been there. You might have encountered several software services promising to remove this lock for a hefty fee. In today's video, I will show you multiple ways to remove this annoying lock from your iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch free of charge. Yes, you heard me right. No tricks, hidden charges, and legal. Stick with me as we explore better, safer, quicker alternatives that are guaranteed to work. Let's dive in, shall we? Keep in mind this info is only for honest, forgetful device owners who can't remember their login details. We're not here to help anyone do anything shady, like unlock stolen devices. Let's keep it legal and respect everyone's rights. Our video follows all YouTube rules and community standards. Now that's clear, let's get going. Let's dive into these services right away. You're not alone in this journey. There are a few reliable solutions to help you. First up, we have Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app. It uses advanced AI technology to unlock your device, making the process smooth as butter. Next, we've got something a bit different, Safe Unlocks. This isn't just your regular unlocking service. It's designed to keep your device secure while doing the job. Lock to Owner is another excellent service. The name itself is pretty self-explanatory. It primarily concerns the whole iPhone locked to owner issue. And finally, there's the iUnlock app. Think of this one as a handy app-based tool that you can use anytime, anywhere to eliminate that annoying lock. These four services are like the superheroes of iCloud unlocking. They're your trustworthy sidekicks in this unlocking journey. In the next step, we will dive deep into how to use Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant. So stay tuned because there's plenty more coming your way. These unlock services work mainly in first world countries. Now, if you can't access the services or prefer not to use them, don't worry, we've got you covered. Every week we offer 250 unlocks to those who follow our videos. Interested in snagging one of these? Here's what you need to do. Like this video, show us some love, hit that subscribe button, check out our content, drop a comment with your device model, say Samsung S9, your IMEI and your country. Bam, you're in. As soon as you complete these steps, you're automatically entered. Simple, let's get started. Let's get to the details of unlocking your device with. Kick things off by opening your browser on your phone or computer and going to unlockhere.com. This website is an excellent digital tool for busting any mobile phone restriction. Once there, you'll meet Nifty, our AI bot. Tell Nifty you need an iCloud to unlock by clicking on activation lock. Go on, Nifty's really friendly and always ready to help. Next, you'll need to tell Nifty what device you're using. Let's choose the iPhone, but you can also choose an iPad or Apple Watch if that's what you have. Now comes the part where you must enter your IMEI or serial number, your device's unique ID. If you have an iPhone, you're after the IMEI. Some iPads and Apple Watches also have IMEI if they have a SIM card slot or cellular capacity. If not, don't worry, they'll have a serial number instead. Finding these numbers is super easy. Just hit the sleep button on your locked device, hit it again, and tap on the little I in the bottom right. There's your device info. After this step, make sure you remember to enter your device information when asked. The next part is easy peasy. Just enter some basic info to attach your order to your account. Be sure to use accurate info to get your order confirmation. Yep, you'll get a confirmation code sent right to your email that you'll need for the next step. Once you've done that, check the box to agree to the terms, confirming that you're not planning to unlock a stolen device. In this step, there's also a quick CAPTCHA to solve, to prove you're not a robot, you know? Then hit Start Process. You will now receive an email with the confirmation code we discussed. Please check all your folders, including the spam and junk ones, as emails can sometimes be found in the strangest places. Once you've got the code, head back to Unlock Here and pop it in. Pass the robot check again and boom. Your unlock process has started and soon your device will be free and clear. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again once it's finally unlocked. So it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And there it is. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to set it all up later. 
Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the rest of the steps and just do it all later on. Now, go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here, you can just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. And yeah, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. That's all for this part, but wait to go anywhere. We've got another method coming up if you want more options. So stick around and let's see what's next. All right, guys, let's jump into alternative ways to remove that iCloud activation lock. These are entirely legit methods, so you can breathe a sigh of relief knowing you're not crossing any lines here. First off, there's the straight up, no nonsense option, Apple support. If you're the legitimate owner and forgot your login details, Apple's support team can assist you in the removal process. But remember, you'd need to provide proof of purchase, which is a bummer if you lost it. Then there's the Find My App. If the previous owner forgot to remove the device from their Find My list, you could ask them to do it remotely. This method is handy if you buy the device secondhand and the owner cooperates. Finally, proof of purchase or receipt can also save your day. If you have one and the seller is an authorized Apple dealer, you can contact Apple support to have the lock removed. Be ready to provide the receipt and other details about your purchase. These are just a few methods. Stay tuned for more goodies in the next videos. Thanks for watching.